What's up, Cinephiles? For this episode, I am going to review a brand new horror flick called The Invisible Man. Now, The Invisible Man is a reboot of the classic 80s film and The Hollow Man, which stars Kevin Bacon. This reimagination stars Elizabeth Moss as Cecilia, a woman who's been trapped in an abusive relationship by his narcissistic and sociopathic boyfriend named Adrian, played by Oliver Jackson Cohen. Cecilia successfully escapes the clutches of her possessive boyfriend, and by doing so, Adrian commits suicide, or so we thought. We are led to believe that Cecilia has been terrorized by this invisible force who stalks at her at night, who creeps on her wherever she goes, and even disrupts her day-to-day -day living, whether it comes to personal relationships or at work. Now, this film is a bit of a hard watch for me, and that's not because it's an awful film. Trust me, it's far from being an awful film. The reason why The Invisible Man is a bit of a hard watch for me because I know you can relate to this, but one of my irrational fears is actually when you're sleeping at night and you imagine that there's someone watching you. So if you have that fear, rest assured that you're gonna be scared by this movie. Also consider this film as a trigger warning for those who have been stopped, who felt that they're being gaslighted by someone, much like Jordan Peele's horror flicks like Get Out and Us. It's just not there to scare you. It's really grounded to real life issues, especially in this generation, which really promotes the hashtag MeToo movement. It has a very slow and methodical approach. And by slow and methodical, I don't mean that it's slow burn, that this is the type of horror film that will just lead you to empty jump scares without developing much of a plan. This is slow and methodical because it focuses on the character development of Cecilia and Elizabeth Moss has the enormous task of lifting the film in her shoulders. Of course, granted that the villain of the film is invisible, it is up to her facial reactions how to sell the horror. And she does it in her best of her capacities. I am not well versed in her works, but in the few times that I've seen her, I can say that she's a really amazing actress. Every fiber of her being screams of trauma, stress, anguish, desperation, hopelessness, and you can see the character develop from a not case because no one's believing her. And when the film gets into the third act and the film now plays on her revenge arc, you'll find yourself cheering for her that she's doing whatever her brittle force is required to fight of being able to stand up for yourself. Now, I understand if you have a cynical mindset going into this film, considering that the director is Lee Wanell, whose films under his buckle are the insidious films, which I believe are more of a miss than hit. But for the sake of being unbiased, I would refer you to his most recent work, Upgrade, which is an amazing action horror flick. And if you watch that film, you'll have the confidence that he'll be able to stage the action sequences and the horror set pieces here beautifully with the help of brilliant editing and clever camera angles. And on the other side, there's restraint to his work because he generates a lot of tension from the stillness of the camera. Take for example, there are couple of shots in this film where it's just a shot of an empty room. The whole film keeps you on your toes that something might pop. The tagline of this film is what you can't see can hurt you. And I have to say I'm really impressed by how Lee Wanell shows restraint in his horror set pieces. I would like to think of it as an old school approach that the less is more, much like how Steven Spielberg shot his Jaws film that he is just doing the close-up shots and he's never really painting this whole image of a shark in your face and I feel like that's what most of the recent horrors are doing re recently. They just pop these grotesque bloody images and honestly in that manner it takes away the horror because I believe the most palpable sense of horror is the one that you generate coming from the viewer's imagination. Lee Wanell understands that notion that in able to be effective for every particular viewer, you have to leave it into their imagination. There's a lot of intelligent subtext in this film that are not shown in the trailer. As I've said, this film will resonate to those who have felt neglected, who are easily shunned as crazy or delusional by society, when all the while they have these issues, they need someone to hear them. Because maybe sometimes, sometimes they're really truths 
on what these people are saying and we need to help them in the most way we can. If you're aware from the past, Universal is trying to make this dark universe where they're building their horror franchise into one universe, kind of like an MCU where there's the Frankenstein, Vampire's Ghosts, Lagoon Creatures. While that project has failed, I have to say that this is the best direction for the Invisible Man. To be able to mine scares and tension within the confines of story without being held back by some contrived concept. In the original film, the Invisible Man has a touch of sci-fi. I'm not gonna spoil anything but I really like how they bring the sci-fi element into this modern world. The only negative that I have in this film are there are some plot holes but none of which will completely ruin my experience. To wrap the Invisible Man, director Lee Wanell repackages this classic horror tale into something that's relevant in a modern world and it has all the elements of a good horror. There's the haunting visuals, cleverly placed jump scares, brilliant editing and also an exceptional performance from Elizabeth Moss. That being said, I am going to rate the Invisible Man 4 out of 5 stars. That wraps up my review for The Invisible Man. Let me know what you think of this film and please tell me what's the most recent horror flick that you've seen that really terrorized you. I wanna know, hit them on the comment section below. If you like this video, please hit like and consider subscribing to our channel and hit that notification bell for more updates. Till then guys, see you on the next episode. Bye!